guys welcome to another video um thanks for tuning in um we've got a pretty easy job today it's not too bad if i go in i'll be able to show you i get this quite a lot um for an electrician it's a pretty straightforward job uh the customers called it in called us in and asked for this socket to be extended round and two double sockets put either side there is what they're having is a desk and it's going to be I'll show you the plan there's going to be a desk there an office uh, over the other side what we're doing is taking the cables out of this TV outlet point um, tucking them into the wall there and extending this circuit through so there's an extra double socket there as well um, and that is that um, I was in here about a few weeks ago and so I'd done the lighting put the spotlights in and converted the switch to a dimmer switch obviously it still needs decorating and plastering and painting but that's not an electrician's job all right, I'll, I, I will show you the end result or maybe give you a, um, an extra video just to how, how to wire a socket. Um, hopefully some people will find that useful. All right, thanks guys, bye for now. Hi guys, just an update on the uh, socket installation we've got going on in the office. It's going quite good, I'm fairly pleased with it. Um, what I was going to do, I was, I was going to do a video on um, how to wire a socket, but I think that's um, pretty self-explanatory, live, live, neutral, neutral, blah, blah, blah. So what I thought I'd do is point out something um, not many people do know, because I see a lot of DIYers doing this and they shouldn't really be doing it. Right, what we've got, our first socket here is on a ring circuit. You, you, you essentially got a wire coming in, wire coming out, and it goes on and on and on to each each socket and goes back to the consuming unit. And it's essentially going in one big ring. That's why it's called a ring socket. And the wiring regulations say that you're not allowed to attach more than one spur, which is one cable, going to a socket on a ring circuit. Because, well, if you attach more, you're increasing the load, and if you're increasing the load and the appliance goes wrong, it's gonna probably fairly quickly heat the cables up, burn the house down, and cause all manner of devastation. So, if you wanted to put, what, what, what we've done here, if you wanted to put two sockets in, but you've got one socket there, and you've not really, because of the time and switch for the outside lights, we've not really got enough space to extend the ring circuit. Um, so what it's possible to do is, from here, this is the socket attached to the ring. You can run one cable instead of two to what's called a switch fuse connection unit. And what that is, it's a switch and it's got a 13A fuse in it. Exactly the same ones as you get in your plug tops, so your kettles, your toasters, your microwaves, your hoovers, and everything else. And basically, what that does is protect anything on the load side, i.e., two sockets. Anything goes wrong that side, then that fuse is going to blow. And in the wiring regulations, that's saying that, that that's perfectly feasible. So if you if you only got enough room for one one cable, but you want two three sockets, then this is the way to do it. So you have one cable running from your socket, it goes to the fuse connection unit supply side, and then from the load side, you run one cable down and connect up your socket and another socket. Then that's protected by the 39 fuse. Anything goes wrong, it's always protected by that. So, and that's perfectly acceptable. But in the rig, like I say, in the regulations, it says you only have one, one socket spurred off, and we want two in this case. And like I say, we didn't have enough room because of the timer for the outside light. But... Hi guys, Sean again. Right, we've completed our office sockets. Um, I'll just show you. Obviously, there's the 
The original socket and why we spurred off with a fuse connection unit leading to two double sockets because there's a desk going to go here and that's the idea we measured up where the draw the draw width is and put the sockets 80 80 mil after after the drawers so they're nicely tucked under the um desk and over here we have uh, two double sockets for other pieces of um, office equipment uh there's my apprentice over there getting in the van he's been a big help running down getting a socket and cleaning up as all apprentices do all right guys i'll catch you in the next videos if you like you can go to my youtube channel uh give us a like or subscribe that'd be much appreciated there's going to be more videos to follow thanks a lot bye for now